Use it when you want something a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more... Hey guys, it's me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. My bathroom is disgusting! Well, it was, until I finally stopped complaining and did something about it. My good friend and co-worker, Lindsay Sanbury, just penned a book. It's called Money Diaries. It is the physical culmination of our column by the same name that catalogs the real life expenses of women all over the world. I always thought that changing my bathroom and making it more palatable would be a really massive expense. But after reading Lindsay's book, which isn't all about beauty, but does have some self-care elements to it, I decided to figure out some ways that I could make my bathroom a little bit more pleasant without spending thousands and thousands of dollars renovating it. I used to walk into my bathroom and want to immediately leave it. I hated its awful green walls. I hated the dingy bathtub. I hated the lack of organization. So I decided that I was going to figure out different ways to get my bathroom to look like a spa and feel like a spa for $25, $100, and $750. Before we get into it though, please make sure you are subscribed down below and check the description bar for more info on Money Diaries. First off is how to turn your bathroom into a spa for under 25. At the bare minimum, a bathroom should be a place where you can get clean, do your business, and also relax. You don't really need to shell out for hundreds of dollars worth of lotions and aromatherapy oils. You can if you want to, and we'll get to that later. Later, but you can do things that are very affordable will still make you feel like you're having this luxurious experience. The first thing that I did was make a DIY salt scrub and this was so affordable and you can make tons of it. I just bought some grapeseed oil and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Mix equal parts of salt and the grapeseed oil and then lather up in the shower, scrub, scrub, scrub away and you have Nice smooth skin. I love grapeseed oil because it's a very lightweight oil so it absorbs relatively quickly. And after you scrub your body, you can hop out and you don't have to put moisturizer on because you already have the oil on your skin. I saved you time too. After the body scrub, I decided to make a really affordable DIY mask. So really all you need for this is some bentonite clay. I used some from a brand called Aztec Secret and you can just mix it with pretty much anything. You can just make a very simple clay mask with just the clay and water. Put that on your face and let it absorb oil, dirt, debris, that sort of thing. But you can also give it a little bit more horsepower by adding something like honey for hydration, tea tree oil for cleansing, or yogurt for the little lactic acid exfoliation. Now, although DIY body scrubs and masks can definitely make you feel pampered, I wanted to do a little something to make the space feel better. So I went to the store and I got a $4 bunch of eucalyptus, grabbed some hemp string and some scissors and tied my eucalyptus to the base of my shower head. It doesn't just make your bathroom look infinitely more beautiful, but it also smells amazing when the hot water is on. It kind of releases the steam and the essential oils kind of come out and you smell like you're in a spa. If you close your eyes, maybe you're not in your bathroom. But then you open your eyes and you are. So the grand total for all of that was $24.38. Next up, here are some things you can do to turn your bathroom into a spa for under $100. This is a section for those of you who want to do a little bit more, you want to buy a few more luxurious things but you don't want to go too far. In my case, this immediately brought me to candles. I just discovered this new candle brand called Otherland and they make stunning candles. And I have the scent, it's called Stone Fruit and it smells like stone fruits. It smells good, it smells sweet, and they retail for 36, which is kind of a lot to spend. It's not the most you could spend on the candle. So they retail for $36. They look beautiful on a bathroom shelf or on your bathtub. So I recommend. Next up, this is something that you can do to kind of feel like you're in a spa, but you are in a spa and you didn't spend like $150 for a treatment. Last year, I went and got a facial from esthetician Renee Rouleau and toward the tail end of the treatment, she used these little frozen toner bits to shrink my pores and also soothe my skin. This is something really fun and actually a real treat to do at home. I used Renee's Energy Boosting Toner, which is a great toner. It has ginseng in it, it's very soothing, it doesn't make my skin feel tight or dry. I poured a little bit of this into ice cube trays, stuck it in the freezer, held tight for a few hours while it froze. Then I popped those suckers out, glided it on my skin after cleansing to soothe and tighten and all that good stuff. This is kind of a fun little treat you can do 
for yourself at home. After my face is cleansed and toned, I like to whip out this Jade Gua Sa tool. I learned this facial massage technique from an acupuncturist named Sandra Lanshin. She actually did acupuncture on me. And I really like it because it doesn't just feel really good and it's very relaxing. It stimulates lymphatic drainage and circulation, but it's also a really nice and easy way to apply your facial oil. Obviously, you can swap out different items to keep costs low. You can obviously spread a little more if you want something a little bit more luxurious, but these are just a few tips. My total for this round was $98.50. Now here is the big expense. These are the things that I did for my bathroom to kind of turn it into a bit more of a spa-like environment for under $750. I love a good oil, scrub, whatever, but it didn't really change the fact that my walls were still green, my bathroom was still kind of dingy, and I just wanted to do things to overall just brighten it up. The first thing I did was remove the horrible green walls in my bathroom and paint it white. I was so, so shocked at what a huge difference a few layers of paint and a couple of hours could make. Instantly brightened up the room and it cost me like 60 bucks for all the supplies. I also switched out the tungsten light bulb in favor of an energy saving LED one in a daylight setting. And this was also like, as soon as I turned that light on, we were all just like, <gasps> it was so like gross and yellow before. Now it's so bright and open. It makes it so much easier to put on makeup in the bathroom. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but I didn't stop there. I have been eyeing rugs from a brand called Cold Picnic for years and years and years, but I never really bit the bullet in terms of buying one. I purchased two mats, the kind of more abstract one, it's called Sleeping Giant, and then their most popular bath mat, it's called the Torso. Not only is the brand Brooklyn based, but the textiles are absolutely beautiful and they are also washable. I'm obviously only keeping one of these in my bathroom, so let me know in the comments down below which one you think would work better in the space. To deal with all the clutter on all the surfaces of my bathroom, I went to TJ Maxx and got a bunch of little baskets on sale. I have a lot of beauty products and I had so many of them like stashed on my bathtub, on shelves. I decided to put them all in a few baskets. It made it look so much more organized. So I used to have my cleaning products just like on the floor around the sink, which was really very unattractive. So I got a nice little basket as well and put it on the floor, put all my cleaning products in there. And I'm telling you, it might be the thing that gives me the most joy when I walk into the bathroom. Like I thought it would be the paint, but actually just not seeing like random toilet cleaner on the sink and in a nice basket makes me very, very happy. When I was brainstorming for this video, I started to think about some things that spas always have in their waiting rooms and in their bathrooms to make it look really nice and relaxing, and I landed on greenery. Now, I don't have any windows in my bathroom, so having little succulents or hanging plants in the bathroom was kind of not an option. If you have a window, you should get real plants, but I couldn't. I got a few fake plants and put them on shelves and on different areas of the bathroom just to make it look a little bit more natural and warm and inviting. So I've been looking to switch out my shower head for something a little bit more water efficient. The average flow rate for like a typical shower head is about 2.1 gallons per minute. I want something lower than that. So I found this really awesome shower head called the Raindrop Shower Head. It costs $120 and it has a filter on it and the filter should be replaced every six months and it costs about $53. So the filter filters out bacteria, algae, chlorine, and other trace minerals. And according to the brand, it can help improve the texture of your skin and your hair and keep your color fresher longer. I've only been using it for about a week, so it's too soon to tell whether or not it's really improving my hair. Although I used it last night and I'm really into the way my hair looks right now, but I'll definitely update you guys in another video. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know down below. While in the shower, I think it's sometimes fun to indulge in a fancy shower oil. This one from Diptyque is my favorite. This fella is $50, which is expensive for what is essentially a glorified body wash, but it is absolutely beautiful. I don't think you should use it every day. I think you should use it on the days that you really want to pamper yourself. When you want a kind of body wash slash hydrating product slash aromatherapy product in one. It leaves my skin feeling super good. A couple pumps cleans your entire body. After you shower, you can still kind of smell the product like lingering on your skin. I know this because I had a crew member confirm. The next product seems a little gimmicky, but trust me, it works. The Aquise hair towel. It is a hair towel that dries your hair faster and causes less friction on the hair. So I personally, with color treated hair, try not to heat style it. I never blow dry my hair, but it's annoying when I shower before I go to bed and my hair is not to dry when I go to bed. So I've been using this. 
it works. It dries your hair so much faster. My hair feels so much softer since I've been using it. So before hopping out of the shower, I like to use a moisturizer or a body oil to hydrate. And this one, it's the Pure Radiance Body Oil from True Botanicals, is expensive. It's $48, but it is the best body oil I've ever used. It is ridiculously lightweight. It absorbs in seconds. It smells amazing. It truly smells like a spa. I used to kind of think that a robe was like an extra unnecessary thing to have because you can just put your pajamas on. But I did get a robe and it is really nice. I got a really affordable one for 15 bucks. It's just black. It feels really soft. It has like this extra little tie places. It doesn't come out all the time when you're wearing it. I'm a robe person now. Last but not least, if you want something a little bit more powerful than the Gua Sa tool, I suggest getting a facial treatment like this one. This is the New Face Trinity treatment. It costs $325, but you can get the mini version for $199. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that's very expensive. However, my hook current technology is great for improving the tone, the contour, pouring and the overall like texture of your skin. This is an at-home version, so it is less powerful than what an esthetician would use on your skin at a spa, but it is something that you can use multiple times a week. If it's something that you want to splurge for, go for it. Um, but if not, obviously there are a lot of other things in this video that you can get as well. So that is it. Everything that I've done in my bathroom over the past month, pretty much for under 25, 100 and 750. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am with the new space. Walking into my bathroom isn't a debilitating experience anymore. Now there's a beautiful white wall, beautiful daylight bulb, nice smelling things around me. My cat started sleeping in the bathroom. At the very least, it's kitty approved. But please let me know down below if there's anything that you've done to your bathroom to make it feel a little bit more zen. I would love to do more things. And also let me know while you're at it what you'd like to see on Beauty With Me next. See you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching guys. Click here to subscribe to Refining 29. Click here to watch another video and add me on Instagram at man.chan so we can hang out there too. Bye.